The way we started was in 2016, I was bartending at a music festival. I had just transitioned out of the military. The owner of the property came up and said, hey, you're a Marine. I need some help with, with our security. Can you help me? And I'm sure. So what I did is I called 20 Marines that I served with and they all came and we end up knocking it out of the park and it's evolved into a 200 employees, 50 plus events a year. It's a real honor for us as a company to protect members that attend these events. We use a lot of similar military tactics that we've civilianized that are just easy to understand for our veterans, but also play a great role in how we provide service to our clients. We usually try to use this system all digitally, but sometimes when you're out on a mountain like this and there is no internet, there's no resources, we have to do it the old archaic way, but it's still just as effective. With treating patrons with respect and dignity, they, they in return showed the same to us because they understood what our mission was. And our mission was to keep them safe while letting them have a good time. I personally like to work the gates because I like to smile and greet people as they come in. And I think that's very important for them to feel that type of like good energy. You know, if they have a bad time going through security, they might have a bad time the entire event. You know, we're not that security company that comes in like trying to kick ass and take names. We know how to talk to these people just by instructing them, helping them, informing them, and knowing in what state of mind they are that it's not the best. <laughs>Wouldn't mind either dumping it into something else, and we're gonna have to take the glass from you. Okay, I can uh, I can uh, pour that into uh, water bottles. All right, no glass bottles. We don't like any glass because people could get hurt. Even though people say they're gonna be responsible, they're not gonna be responsible. When you're going, 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 you don't get a little bit of sleep, and then you continually have to engage the population and be professional. It's kind of like being overseas again, and you're you're the face of something, and we're big. We are national now, so if you make any kind of negative vibe, some kid just so happens to see your films or something, it'll make waves in the community. You immediately notice. But in general, Battle Tested never does that. So we've seen guys throughout our time at Battle Tested that have really needed the support structure that we offer, whether they're taking pills, addicted to drugs, suicidal thoughts, depression, stuff from the VA, pain medication, stuff like that. It all evolves into something more. So with Battle Tested, we can help them relieve some of those problems through all the programs and benefits that we're offering. It's way easier to talk to someone that's going through it than to someone that doesn't understand it. Because I still came out of the military with not 100% clarity on where I was going in my life. More honestly like a brotherhood than the actual military sometimes, so it's, it's cool here. And your guys are looking out for each other, you're doing like basically like a watch, what we call in the Navy. All the other previous jobs that I've had before, I've felt like I'm just a number and you know, you get treated as so, but with battle tested, they treat you like family. So instead of looking at the problems, let's look at the why. Why is he struggling? Is it drugs? Is it financial stress? Is it depression? Is he lost? Does he just need a friend, a hug, and a kick in the ass to tell him where to go? We can figure that all out and then start executing a solution.